Hello my friends, today we have the first ever dress watch on this channel, so we will be taking a look at the Biatek Majestic 02. This is actually the second Biatek watch on this channel. Back in March 2017 I have reviewed Biatek Corsair 01, which is a pilot watch, and at the moment I have two more Corsair models at home, and I'll make a review of those later on. So as you can see, this is the rose gold PVD version, which means that there is a layer of rose gold applied on the stainless steel case. This method of application makes the gold much more durable than usual plating method. And the case finishing on this watch is really beautiful, there is mirror-like polishing on the whole surface of the case. If you don't like this rose gold look, stainless steel versions without the gold PVD are available as well. The shape of this case is rather simple, I personally do like that on this type of watch. The craftsmanship on the case is flawless, the edges are nicely machined and the polishing meets very high standards. One of the distinctive features of this watch is that there is quite a lot of space between the dial and the sapphire crystal, which makes the elements on the dial appear more three-dimensional and it gives the watch more pronounced appearance overall. The size of this case is 40 mm, but it is definitely on the larger side of 40 mm. The bezel around the dial is very thin, so the dial appears to be really large and it definitely has a presence on the wrist. The thickness of the case is 13.3 mm, which is also on the larger side. It is partially because of that space between the dial and the crystal, and also because there is a 14 karat solid gold coin on the back of the watch under its own crystal, which makes the case back of this watch quite unique. The water resistance of Majestic Collection is 50 meters, so you can wash your hands with it without any problems, and I really don't think that anyone will want to go swim with watch like this. Luck with is 22 millimeters. In the pictures I didn't like that so much, but in the real life it does come together with overall looks of the watch. It gives the watch a bit more distinctive look, and the luck width also contributes to making that presence on the wrist that I have talked about. Also worth mentioning is the crown. There is a lot of details on it, and there is also Biatek logo engraved on the side. There is also a little shield with serial number placed between the locks on each Biatek watch, so that makes each Biatek timepiece a bit more unique. The dial on this particular version is dark bronze Sambers dial with a very interesting texture. It changes the color depending on how the light hits the dial and it looks very nice outside on a sunny day. The crystal also has anti-reflective coating on both sides, so you can clearly see the dial without any distractions. There is a small seconds dial on 9 o'clock. On the macro shots you can see that there are inner circles inside of the dial and a very nice detail is the silver bezel around the small seconds dial. Golden hour indices are applied of course, there is no marking for minutes, which is in my opinion okay with watch of this type. The hands are also quite simple, but there is central line for more three-dimensional look. Other than that, there is a company logo at 12 o'clock and majestic model designation at 6 o'clock. Overall the dial is quite simple, but at the same time there are some very nice details that make the dial look classy. The movement inside of this Majestic is Swiss made Eterna 3901A, 4 Hz, 29 joules, single barrel movement with 65 to 70 hours power reserve. Here you can see this movement in Biatek Corsair watch, because it has transparent case back, this particular Majestic doesn't. This movement has really nice winding feel, with soft clicking sound, a nice amount of tension. Setting time with 3901 is completely smooth. The crown operation on this watch is excellent. I have tested this movement in multiple watches and the accuracy is very good, actually within COSC standards. This Eterna is definitely a step up above usual Celida or ETA and other movements that can be found in most of micro brand watches. Definitely adds more value, the finishing is nice as well, and I also appreciate having that 70 hour power reserve. Majestic 02 comes with handmade calfskin leather strap with alligator style embossing made by Eulit. This one is from their Eolux line, the strap is very well made, it matches the color of the dial very well, and it is also very fitting to the overall style of this watch. The buckle is gold PVD plated, just like the case, and you can see that it is a custom made buckle with a very distinctive design. I'm also very happy to see something like this instead of generic buckles that most micro brands use, and the Biatek logo on this buckle is very nice detail as well. 
So to sum up, I have to say that I like this watch a lot. I'm a bit surprised by that because dress watches are not what I'm primarily interested in. I'm more of a two watch guy, but the craftsmanship on this watch is beautiful. It is a very classy watch, very suitable for wearing with suit. I wore it with semi-casual clothes a couple of times and interestingly it doesn't feel out of place even with something like sweatshirt. The rose gold color is not for everyone, so as I have said you can choose from different colors. And in my opinion a solid dress watch definitely belongs into complete watch collection and if you choose the Biatek Majestic it will be a good choice in my opinion. So that's it for this video, thank you for watching, I hope that you like this video and that you found it to be useful. Stay tuned for more videos and maybe consider subscribing if you don't want to miss my future content. I appreciate your feedback in form of thumbs up or thumbs down. If you would like to ask anything or share your opinion, please do so in the comment section and see you next time.